welcome back to it is at hand here on church of uganda family tv with bruno edgar my guest uh, today for those of you who have just joined is uh, uh, mrs jennifer kalule musamba who is a public relations officer at unev that's uganda national examinations board and uh, uh, before the break we were talking about uh, the mandate of UNEB, how the fact uh, that um, UNEB has uh, concluded with the registration process and then uh, the, the, uh, she was telling us that as parents you need to go and see the display of uh, the registration of your children who are candidates and uh, she assured us that UNEB is ready for the final examinations. But uh, a big question here that we have is, are you as a parent, you as parents, are you ready for your name and uh, why do I say that uh, please uh, uh, Mrs. Jennifer you have some good advice for parents mm. as our children get ready for final examinations especially when it comes to ensuring that we do not uh, scare our children mm. once they start their examinations okay uh, thank you so much um, I want to encourage the parents out there the reason we want you to be involved in your in the assessment process of the learners so that you can support them don't intimidate them. Don't harass them. Yes, times are hard. You're all struggling to get school fees for these people. Yes, some of us, some people, some are single mothers, single fathers, single parents. Some of uh, some people have a long list of offers they are looking at. They are looking after. Even if you're looking at, if you took up the responsibility, look after them. Don't harass them. Don't intimidate them. them. If you don't get a four, you find somebody to pay for your school fees. You know how hard it is for me? I come back late to get school fees for you. And you know, let's not really intimidate these kids. Let's not harass them. We want to be supportive and not do, uh, not, no, 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 not instead do the detrimental role. So even when we encourage you to come for the briefing sessions, you may, you may not. But when you come still, don't come as a watchdog just to see. Hmm? How is the uniform? No, this button is off. I know as mothers, you have to look out, look at everything. Now this hair, it's not brushed. Now what not? Now at that point in time, it's not the time to, you know, to look out for the wrongdoings, for the mistakes and all. It's time to give them support. We are basically in case asking you to give them moral support, psychosocial support, um, spiritual support and everything. But not to do what you, no, no, not to be destructive. If you think you're going to be destructive, kindly don't go there. If you're so... You have various issues that we may have as parents. You're going through some stressful moments yourself. You can ask an auntie or a friend they are used to or their pastor to go there on your behalf. And I'm sure they will be appreciative and they will understand. Other than you going there and then downloading all your stress on the children. Kindly don't download stress on these children. They need to be supported. So let's be supportive and not um, not doing the watchdog, uh, the watchdog role. We can do that doing that. But right now, let's give them the emotional support that they need. Let's not harass them. Let's just encourage them. Tell them, yes, you can. You can be able to make it. You Even if you don't get a fault, by the way, Ah, you are bringing <laughs> problems. <laughs> Even if you don't what? <laughs> Even if you don't get a four, not all of us are, not all of us got four. Me, I got six in my uh, in my all my my P seven, and after that, I think I got eighteen or whatever. But anyway, my point is, as parents, we need to know the academic competencies of our children. If your child has been getting twenties or whatever, you don't expect them to a miracle to have. We are praying and believing God to come and help these children. But let's know what are their academic competencies. Don't tag all of them to getting fours. Don't don't pray, put them so much pressure on them to get four or six or eight or even a first grade. You never pass a wide scope of grading, and all of them are graded. It's just a few who are not graded, and that is when I don't have the grading system here. But my point is, even if you don't get a four. Even if you don't get a first grade, even if you get a second grade, it is still good enough and you'll still be accommodated. We have a wide range of secondary schools which are going to accommodate you. I know there are those schools that you want to go to. I don't know what school X, school Y, school what. Even if you don't get there, you will still make it in life. So let's encourage them. It is okay. We want them to perform so well. But even if they don't perform well, they still remain our children. And God loves them. They are wonderfully and fearfully made in God's image. So let's not push them beyond and over what they can be able to do. Let's encourage them. Assure them that you want them to perform well, but even if it does not happen, they will still be your lovely children and that God still loves them. Wonderful, wonderful. Now that's uh, your advice to parents as we get into final examinations. What is your advice to schools? Uh, to schools, 
I want to first and foremost thank the schools very much because they act as our examination centers. At UNEB, we can't do anything without examination centers. So we want to thank the schools very much, which have allowed to register the candidates and uh, take them in, teach them. Right now, what we want you to do, two things. One, give the parents and the candidates an opportunity to confirm registration data, to confirm the correctness of the data. Let them confirm that they, what, what they put there is, is correct. In case there's a mistake, please alert us. Go to the NEP portal. Put a, get an amendment form, fill in what needs to be amended, and we shall be able to do, to do the amendment. So I want us to be, um, let's give them good audience, please. Let's not just push them around. I've been getting people complaining. I went to school and they said, ah, just an eye, they can't change it or something. Your name is ready to make all the amendments. So I want to ask the schools, examination centers, you are doing this work on our behalf, on behalf of the Uganda National Examinations Board. We are ready to make the amendments, please. Give the, uh, give the learners an opportunity, let them make the amendments, give, send it to us, we shall make it in good time. However, this has to be done before the 30th of September, because exams begin on uh, 14th October, and we need the time to do the final preparations. So make all the, amend the amendments which need to be done, send them to us, and we shall be able to make them. Otherwise, we are very grateful. And then, in this remaining time, let teaching and learning take place, support them to revise, to know how to answer the questions, but please don't think about malpractice because you're not going to get SSC anywhere. And if you're planning to do external assistance, we shall get you and we can cancel the results of all this, the entire center, the entire school and all the land. And it's not really fair to the candidates. And because actually you, on that point, what is UNEB's plan to tackle that issue of malpractice, especially by some schools? Um, we have, to, uh, we put in place security measures the worst form of malpractice is leakage, where the paper leaks before the, it comes out. Like today, and mathematics, let's say, is at 2 o'clock, and okay, let's say science is at 2 o'clock, and by now it's on social media. Ah, my goodness, <laughs> <laughs> you have touched Mr. Dongo's eye. And we, we, we guard that so we guard against that jealousy. We make sure it will not happen, and it will not happen. We put in place security measures to make sure that doesn't happen. The people who see this paper being printed are in a factory and they are um, locked up for about 65 days for the entire examination season. They are locked up. They are the ones who do, it's only Mr. Dong who, who know, okay, there's a process anyway. So they are the ones who see what, what's being printed and printed and sent out and they do not have, they are incommunicado. They don't have phones, they don't communicate in, in any way. I'm the one who communicates to their families. So, and then the process of taking, we have uh, the containers which are heavily guarded. We work with military police, with security police. We have uh, many people have keys to the, um, to, we have some security measures. So we guard against leakage. What usually happens is external assistance. And this happens when the paper has arrived at school and uh, they pull out the school copy. The teachers or whoever goes and photocopies, they begin writing answers for the kids and giving them cheats during the examination. That is very dangerous very dangerous because eventually we are going to get you what usually happens it will come in towards the end of the, ex of the examination and once it gets there uh you try the kid is trying to rush and cancel their correct answer and put the wrong answer or something to that effect we had the time we had a challenge one time the last examination whereby they were asking questions about i think the ethnic groups in uganda and uh they, they had written for them now hamites and then the, uh, the next uh, next question was uh, forms of identification in Uganda, and they were of course put passport. But somebody interchanged the, the, the answers and put number one, put passport, number two, nail hammites. So the answer for number one went to number two, number two, number three, and it went on the wrong answers. And the entire class cancelled their correct answers and they put the wrong answers. It was oh. absurd. The whole center was cancelled. I cried with those parents. I could feel for them, but there was nothing that you could do. These are national examinations, and UNEP is not about to compromise on the security of examinations. We are not about to compromise on the integrity of our certificates. So whatever it takes place, let the candidates get their low marks when they are their low marks and when they have their certificates. Other than you compromising, trying to you know to cheat for them, and then in the end you are caught, and the, the whole year, the whole the whole year is cancelled. That's not good for them. So want to please encourage the head teachers, the teachers, do what you're supposed to do. Don't think about malpractice. The parents and the support and the caretakers, please 
confirm registration status and confirm correctness of the data. You can use the SMS option to do that, but preferably when you go to school, make sure you see the entire display because it is more detailed. The media people, you are our allies. We are very grateful to the media. You've been there for us all the time. During the release, we've got an overwhelming turn up of the media people, and uh, you've all been publicizing the, you know, the publicizing the, the timetable and the activities thereafter. Thank you so much, the media team, media people, for always being our allies. And uh, to the general public, do your role. Religious leaders, we are going to have an official dedication of the examinations at the beginning of October, and we want everybody to join us to pray for these candidates because we know with God all things are possible and we get wisdom from God. So we want to ask everybody to join in. Family members, let's be supportive to our learners. Don't intimidate them, don't harass them, but support them because this is a major gateway to their lifetime, to their, to, their, to their destinies, to their career paths, and they need to do it quite well. And they need to feel supported. So let's support them in every way possible. And let's support them as a family. And then uh, lastly, as a part of your final remarks, what is your say to the candidates who are planning to sit for these final examinations? What would you like them to understand concerning mm -hmm. uh, the final examinations and UNEP's expectations of them? Yes, to the candidates out there, we are grateful that you've come this far. And I want to assure you that God who has brought you this far is going to see you through. One thing I know is that you have the competencies. You have what it takes to pass these examinations. If you've been studying, if you've been reading, you've been attentive in class, you have what it takes. Just don't listen to anybody who is going to tell you they are going to cheat for you, they are going to sit for you, they are going to do X, Y, Z. Don't get involved in examination malpractice in any way. So just be steady first. Pray, keep praying and keep learning and keep studying and keep revising discussions. You will definitely be able to make it. We want you to pass. And by the way, you know examinations are not so different from all the other examinations you've been doing. P7 candidates, you've been doing exams since baby class. You always do exams. Now this is just that this is just a national examinations and taking you to the senior level to, to secondary. So there's nothing really so special about it. Just be confident. And uh, just be confident and ask the Lord to help you and you definitely make it. Senior for the same thing, you did PLE. So what is so unique about UCE? The same thing, just the way you passed PLE is the way you're going to pass the UCE. USCE candidates, the way you passed PLE, you passed UCE, is the same way you are going to pass the USCE. So you don't need to panic. Just make sure nobody um, who, uh, who brings you into malpractice. Do your reading, do your revision, do your discussions well. You can get the past papers if you want from our communications house, the cassette communications house, uh, grant for the uh, UNEP uh, publications. You can go and get the booklet for question papers. Or you can come to our UNEP offices in your Tinder and you can be able to get the question papers. And we shall, I know with the grace of God, you're definitely going to make it. As the board, we support you. We want everybody to do their examinations. We want to make sure that whoever is supposed to be assessed this year is assessed. And eventually you're going to get a certificate or a passive which is internationally recognized. It's going to be very helpful for you in future. So I want to encourage you and pray for, let you know we are not here to fail you. We are here just to assess your competencies. To see how competent are you to go to the next level. So as a board, we don't plan to fail you. But we just plan just to assess your competencies and we shall give you a certificate which is worthy of the competence that you have. Thank you so much. Uh, you've had it right there. Wise words from a loving mother for sure. It, uh, if I was the one I knew, <laughs> I, I would be feeling like I'm going to get a four. And, uh, uh, but like she has said, let's continue to support our children and ensure that they um, uh, have a lot of backing and they're not anxious as they got into the exam. Now, um, thank you so much, uh, Mrs. Jennifer Kalule Samba. For, yes, please. Just to give you the customer care numbers, just in case you need to ask a question or something, we have a toll free line which you can call 0800 That's 0800 Or you can send a message, a WhatsApp message on 0760 731 Two six one or zero seven seven six eight six five double five six or zero seven seven six double nine three double three five.
Thank you, uh, Mrs. Jennifer, for those uh, numbers and uh, for uh, taking us through how ready UNEP is when it comes to the final examinations that are commencing once the term reopens. And uh, thank you for uh, being a part uh, of us here on Issues at Hand and uh, joining us. We are always glad to have you. And uh, just know that as you enter into your final examinations, we are behind you all the way. We are praying for you and we want you to do your very best. Uh, keep it locked here on Church of Uganda Family TV. God richly bless you.